Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So everybody want me to talk about this whole Keisha Knight Pulliam situation. As you guys know, before I went into surgery, I had found out that um, Ed Hartwell had posted online that him and Keisha were getting divorced and that he wanted a paternity test. And I was shocked. Like I said on Instagram, you know, I was very surprised. But once again, like I always tell y'all, this is why I don't envy, envy anybody's situation because you never know what's going on behind closed doors. I've never known Keisha Knight to be a thought to carry herself unbecoming. I've never known it to be brought in any type of drama. So I feel just extremely bad for her. And Keisha is now talking out. You know, this whole situation is messy. Her and Ed Hartwell have only been married about eight months. Keisha just recently revealed to the world two weeks ago that she was pregnant. She was having a little girl. She was on social media showing her baby bump. Everybody was happy for her. And then for her to be blindsided by Ed Hartwell, the whole situation is just really disheartening. People are accusing her of cheating and saying, oh, why else would he break it with her? She must have did something. But now Keisha is speaking out. She's talking to E.T. And when I tell you, this interview literally made me cry. Like, I cried for her. I feel so bad for her. My heart definitely goes out to Keisha because no Nobody deserves to be hurt in this manner. Y'all go on ahead and watch this interview and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Keisha Knight Pulliam was America's darling, everybody's favorite little Rudy Huxtable from The Cosby Show. But now she is all grown up, four months pregnant and going through the biggest nightmare of her life. This is a story that everybody is talking about. About a week ago, she announced that she was pregnant and we were so happy for Keisha. Now she says she was blindsided by her husband filing for divorce and reportedly, now he wants her to prove the baby is his. But Keisha says she wants the world to know her side of the yes. story, and that is why she's only talking. The biggest thing and my priority is she doesn't deserve it. Keisha was emotional and raw when I visited her this afternoon in her Atlanta home. The giant square cut diamond ring she once wore proudly is gone. And get ready for this. Keisha told me she's not the one who cheated. She claims her husband was. So when early in my marriage I was faced with this, I was ready to leave. I had divorce papers ready. I presented them to him. He begged for another, he said, please, I want my family. He said all of the right things. And once I was pregnant, I did decide to give him that one last chance. So let's catch everyone up on the backstory. And would you like to hold him? No, he might go on. <laughs> After we fell in love with her as Rudy Huxtable, Keisha's led a pretty quiet life, doing charities and her own podcast. Then, after just four months of dating, Keisha and NFL star Ed Hartwell secretly got married six months ago. Last week, she announced she was pregnant with a baby girl. Then, just two days ago, Ed filed for divorce. One report claims he wants a paternity test. Keisha was completely blindsided. Um, had been unfaithful to mm -hmm. you. He confessed to it in his words, in his mouth, period. Wow. There's no nursery. Keisha plans to sell the house before her daughter is born. As for Ed's side of the story, well, the former Real Housewives of Atlanta husband has not responded to our calls for comment. Do you still love your husband? I love who he pretended to be. Hmm. I have no desire to continue to be married to him. That's why I'm doing this one interview and I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to continue to revisit, regurgitate, but I'm also not going to continue to allow people to tell blatant lies about me. I see your heart breaking. I'm grateful. Mm. Despite all of this and everything that happened, I'm grateful for my blessing. And that's my little girl. Right, so you guys just watched that interview and like I said it was just sad you know one I feel bad for her because she's Keisha and I still call her Rudy to this day you know I'm trying to, I'm trying to be professional call her Keisha but you know people who know me know I always call her Rudy <laughs> and um she's one of the the girls you know growing up I looked up to her you know I just I loved everything about her the way she carried herself beautiful woman very articulate she went you know to college got her degree you know like I said before I've never ever heard of Keisha being embroiled in anything. And this is probably the most scandalous thing that's ever been attached to her name, which is so unfortunate because for almost 20 something years, she's kept her personal life outside of the media. Now we all know for a few years, her and Tiger were dating and then they ended up breaking up and folks didn't even know when her and Tiger broke up. And then all of a sudden she was, you know, engaged in marrying Ed Hartwell. And I remember when I first heard about them getting married, I was kind of surprised. I'm like, okay, well, Ed Hartwell, cause y'all know I love the Real Housewives of Atlanta. 
He used to be married to Lisa Wu Hartwell, and then they got divorced. But I figured, you know what? I'm, you know, Ed seemed like a good guy, and if Keisha is with him, you know, there must be something there. But, you know, the whole situation is really sad, and it's even sadder because she's pregnant. The stress of what she's going through could cause her to have a miscarriage. Anything could happen to her. So I just hope that she's able to, you know, get her emotions in check and, you know, calm down a bit, at least for her baby. You know, a few things that really kind of stood out to me is how quick they got together. They had only they had only known each other for four months. And then she also said that, you know, during the marriage, he had cheated on her. And at that point, she wanted a divorce, but she decided to give him another chance. But then in the same breath, Ed couldn't even do that for her. He was, you know, he was so quick to get a divorce and move on, you know, and saying that they have differences and she's spoiled and this, this, and that. Granted, nobody's ever going to know what truly went on in their relationship because we weren't in that relationship. It's between Keisha and Ed. But I just find everything to be really, really shady. You know, I kind of feel like, and I see a lot of people blaming her, saying, you know, you're almost 40. She should know better. Why was she rushing into this marriage? You know, she's worth a lot more than him. His net worth is only 200000 You're worth millions. You know, he was just using you to be a sugar mama. You know, people have so much to say about her situation. But I feel like what happened is that with a lot of women, especially as we get older, you know, especially if you don't have children, if you've never been married, a lot of women feel like their clock is ticking. You know, they want to have kids before they're 40. They want to get married. And with Keisha being who she is, very successful, everybody knows her, her choice of men is very slim. You know, because as a woman, especially if you're doing good for yourself, you want somebody at least on your level. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that that's hard. To, and I don't think that should be a bad thing to ask for. You know, not everybody wants a rapper or NBA baller making millions, but you at least want somebody who's comfortable, who makes at least what you make or, you know, around that ballpark. And granted, yes, you could get with a regular guy. But again, it can be hard if you're a celebrity. So sometimes when women get into these positions where, you know, they focus on their job and their career and then now they're ready to settle down, sometimes they'll settle for the first person who comes at them. And Ed Hartwell, being an ex-football player, he might have seemed like a good catch at the time. But we put so much pressure on women that we feel like you have to be married, you have to have kids, you have to have all this by the time you're 40, and you have to do it the right way. Because God forbid Keisha would have got pregnant outside of wedlock, y'all would have been dragging her and saying that she's an idiot and everything else. So it's like with a lot of women, especially black women, they just can't win. If they get if they get pregnant outside of wedlock, that's the issue. She waited and got married and then got pregnant. Now he dissed her and folks are, you know, still finding ways to blame her. All right, y'all, grab y'all's teacups because this tea is piping hot. So while recording this video, um, Page Six posted their interview with Ed Hartwell today. And he's responding to what Keisha Knight Pulliam had to say uh, with E.T. He's responding back to her interview. I want y'all to go ahead and check this out real quick. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my comments. Ed Hartwell had to say, and he's basically saying everything I had suspected, what I was saying beforehand, is that, you know, Keisha kind of rushed into this because she probably felt her biological clock was ticking and that she had to hurry up and have a family and everything else. And I think they both messed up. I think that neither one of them really loved each other. I think it was more of a marriage of convenience. He was looking for love. He wanted to settle down. She wanted a kid right away. They should have really communicated and sat down and discussed what they both wanted out of this relationship slash marriage before rushing in. They had no. They had only known each other for four months. She was ready to get pregnant right away. He wasn't comfortable with that. And I think that she should have respected that. And he should have also respected where she was coming from. It makes no sense bringing a child into this world if one parent isn't comfortable yet. Now this child is going to be born into a broken home. You know, the whole situation is just sad. And I think maybe the reason why Keisha was rushing is because she was in, you know, a long relationship with Tigger. I kept calling him Tiger, but I met Tigger. She was with him for a long time and he never married her. They didn't have any kids together. So I think that that's why she really jumped the gun with this one. And as women, we have to really be careful about that because this whole situation situation is just getting messier and messier you know so the whole situation is just really sad like I said it made me cry watching her break down like that because I'm a big fan of Keisha you know and it breaks my heart to see her going through that nobody deserves that nobody deserves to be you know um divorced while they're pregnant one thing I will say to the ladies out here like I always tell you when people show you their true colors honey do not make excuses for them when people show you who they really are, take it for what it is and run for the hills. I'm telling you because I've been in that situation before where somebody showed me their true colors and I kept making excuses and kept trying to turn a blind eye. And then everything just, you know, the shit hit the fan. And I think when he initially cheated on her, 
that should have been her wake up call to say, you know what, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? But again, like so many of us women, we want things to work and we don't want to be embarrassed and we don't have to, we don't want to have to explain ourselves as to why our relationship didn't work and things like that. But sometimes we'll swallow our pride and just deal with it. Again, he showed his true colors and I really wish you would have paid attention before she got into this situation because what makes the situation more difficult is the fact that she's pregnant. So with all this hurt, hate, and animosity and the way everything's playing out in the public eye, they're still going to have an attachment to each other because of this little girl that she's about to give birth to in a little bit. You know, so that's going to be the messed up part is that this baby's being born into a situation where the parents are not together. But now there's a lot of hate and animosity for each other because Ed obviously has issues with her. Keisha has issues with him. And this baby's being born into all this foolishness. You know, so the whole situation is just really, really sad and really disturbing. It's going to be interesting to see how all this plays out. But again... But again, I don't feel like as women, we should have to settle. And I understand, you know, once you get to a certain age, especially if you've never been married, you don't have kids, you know, it's, it's easier said than done. But sometimes when we settle, these are some of the things that can happen, you know, and sometimes we end up making the wrong choices. You know, I'm really sad that Keisha's going through all this. So anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Keisha and Ed Hartwell. And then what do you think may have happened in their relationship? Why did it end like this so quickly? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.